Welcome to day four of STEAM Fest, art. Today we will be focusing on the impact of three amazing women artists who boldly and bravely live their craft and open new ways for women, well, and all artists, to creatively communicate through thoughts and ideas and feelings in our world. We will be learning about Maria Sibila Marion, Mary Cassatt, and Frida Kahlo. Hello, I am representing Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is considered to be one of Mexico's most famous and influential artists. Frida was born in Mexico City in July of 1907. Frida had a few illnesses and injuries as a child, including polio, which left her bedridden for some time and left her with a permanent limp. Years later, she was in a bus accident, which once again left her bedridden. This time, to pass the time, she took up painting. She started with many self-portraits and continued to grow her art. And after becoming an aspiring painter herself, she turned to Diego Rivera, a popular artist at the time. As the two discussed her art, they also fell in love and eventually got married in 1929. Although the two had a rocky relationship with multiple separations, their art bonded them and his career helped propel Frida's art career since it was hard for a woman to succeed purely on her own. Frida got into the surrealism movement and focused a lot of her artwork on herself and her deep emotions. Politics and current events played a large part in Frida's life. And with all of the tragic past that she had, she would relive those moments in her art. In 1954, Frida Kahlo passed away in her childhood home, the Blue House which has since been turned into a museum to memorialize the inspirational Mexican artist. Mary Cassatt was an important woman for the history of art. She was born in a time that was not kind to women artists or women who worked at all. Mary Cassatt was born in 1844 in Pennsylvania. Mary was able to study art in Paris, the capital of art at the time. She joined the new group of painters, later called Impressionists, in which she was the only American in the group at the time, as well as one of the only women. While learning art with the Impressionists, Mary was also able to focus on her technique and the use of light. She eventually became known for her light pastel paintings of motherhood, childhood, and the relationship between the two. She was able to portray the domestic life of women in a way that men could not due to the barriers each gender had. Mary was able to depict the intimate lives of women as caretakers. The Impressionists were starting a new movement of art. They painted en plein air meaning outside, so that they would focus on the shapes and strokes that the light hit the objects out in the real world, rather than in a studio with forced light. Soon after the turn of the century, her eyesight began to fail and her painting began to decrease. She encouraged wealthy Americans to buy her fellow Impressionist work and help solidify the movement in history. Maria Sibila Marion was celebrated for her scientific accuracy in her illustrations and bringing new life and detail into scientific illustration. Maria Sibila Marion was born in 1647 in Germany. Her stepfather encouraged her to pick up painting. As a child, Maria started to collect insects and raised silkworms. She studied these insects and painted them. She was interested in their movement and their life cycles. Maria spent some time in South Africa. This allowed her to expand her research to another region and studied more flora and fauna. During this time, she again studied and painted the life cycles of different insects and has taught us a lot about these species. 
1715, Maria suffered from a stroke and was left paralyzed. She then died two years later, but due to her amazing work and the amount of work she left us with, her work was still being able to be published after her death. Thank you so much for joining us in this lesson with Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center. We are so pleased that you've chosen to join us for this STEAM Fest lesson on women in art. There are so many women in art to learn about and each has a unique story just like you. Keep on creating. Join us for today's nature journaling activity and follow us on Facebook to tune into other fun STEAM Fest activities and bios. Learn more at WenatcheeValleyMuseum.org.